What's up everybody? It's Seti Said and in this video I will show you how to install Notepad++ on your 64-bit operating system with the plugin manager. Um, thanks to a subscriber, I believe it is NSR Racer here, he found the plugin manager for the 64-bit version which previously previously wasn't available um, come to find out I did this video you can see here in January and the 64-bit version of the plugin manager came out in April so they may even be making a later version but as of today which is October 23rd um, there is a 64-bit version with a limited number of plugins in the plugin manager I still use or will prefer to use the 32-bit version because it has a lot of plugins that I find useful that are not in the 64-bit version. But we're going to go ahead and install the 64-bit version for those of you who want to keep uh, up with your system. Well, to me, it doesn't make it a difference for what you're, what we're doing, whether it's the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version. We're not losing that much system performance where it matters what we're doing. Um, I just prefer using the 32-bit version because, again, it has more useful plugins. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, is go to the uh, Notepad++ download site, which is here type that in your Google search or you just type in Notepad++ or you type in this address here it will bring you to this download page where you want to download the current version which we're already on which is 7.51 so here I would select the 32-bit version the procedure are going to be the same it's just you're going to be using different files so if you want to use the 64-bit version go ahead and do that if you want to use the 32-bit version right off the bat you can go ahead and do that now so I'm going to go ahead for the purpose of this video is select the 64-bit installer since I already down uh, already downloaded downloaded the file I'm not going to download it again but this will bring you up to where you choose to download your files. Mine are in my downloads folder over here. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel it, but open it up in my downloads folder. And it's this installer here. So I'm going to double click it to run the file. I'm going to select yes. Select OK for English. I'm going to select next to continue. I'm going to agree to the license agreement and I'm fine with the download location so I'm going to click next and I'm fine with the default selections here so I'm going to click next and I'm also going to make one selection here and click install then we're going to go ahead and run the file now if we do this, we click on plugins and notice there's no plugin manager. And we want a plugin manager and we want the snippets plugin. But you can't get the snippets without the plugin manager. So in order to get the plugin that manager, we need to go to the link that NSR Racer found for us. And that is right here. So the this is the link to the plugin manager for Notepad, whether you have the 32 bit version or the 64 bit version. This is the 32 bit version uh, uh, zip file, and this is the 64 bit version. I have both files because I'm, I'm using the 64 bit for the purpose of this video, but I'm actually using this version here for the uh, plugin advantage. So, Go ahead and select the 64-bit version. I already done it. That's right here, so I'm not going to do it again. So I'm just going to select cancel and open it up in my downloads folder. 
once you do that you have to extract it if you right click on your uh, mouse you can click extract all and then it'll produce this file here open it up control A to select both folders control C to copy both folders and then I want to go to my program files folder and the notepads folder here and I'm going to paste those files right here with a control V they are already here so it wants to merge the files together I'm fine with that and I'm going to, so it's just there are two of them I'm going to do it for the next file that it finds and continue to allow permission and it's done so now when we go to uh, notepad plus plus we have to close it and reopen it for uh, the changes to take effect so now we have a plugin manager so I open the plugin manager and voila I want the snippets plugin so I'm gonna go ahead and install that and it says that it, we need to restart for changes to take effect so go ahead you want to go ahead and run allow for permission to run that file the gpup file and now it restarted and it's unable to find the snippets database so go ahead and click OK and right here is your link to the snippets um, download file we need for that database so we go ahead and click on that and it'll take you there and then we click on in here the download link for the github page and here we find the snippets link for the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version again I've downloaded both I'm actually using this one but I'm going to show you this one for the purpose of this video and you can see I've already got the snippets 64-bit version zip file here so I'm not going to do it again cancel that but I'm going to open it up in my downloads uh, folder if you again if you right click it you extract it then you'll get this folder here so you double click on that once it's extracted and control A to copy both the folder and the file Control C to copy both, and then we're going to go back into the program files directory in the notepads folder, and in the plugins folder, we're going to paste the two files. Control V, continue to allow permission, and those are the two files that are now copied into the notepads plugin folder so now we can close this and when we go to plugin snippets you have to do it twice for some odd reason the snippets pane comes up so you could either once at that point you could either close and restart it and the snippets pane will be available or you can do what I just did just, just do it twice and the snippets will come up so that's it for the 64-bit version. Um, if you want to, again, we'll, we'll look at the, uh, the plugin manager and see that there's not uh, a whole lot of uh, plugins that I find useful for me and uh, in coding. So if you're fine with it, you're all set from here. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and close this out and uninstall it and install the 32-bit uh, version which I find a lot more useful for my needs and so let me go ahead and uninstall this so I need to go to my control panel uninstall the program and find it in the list here notepad Uninstall. We go 
come in and select uninstall. We do not want to keep any custom settings. I'm going to close that. We can close the control panel. And I want to go and delete the folder there. So select delete. Yes. so that's done so now hopefully you know how to uh, get to the 32-bit installer and download it which I've already done so we're gonna go ahead and go to my downloads and un and hit the 32-bit installer we're gonna click yes okay for English next we agree. We're cool with the file location and we're cool with the default settings. And I'm going to tick the allow plugins and we're done almost. So now we're back. We're in the 32 bit version. And again, there's no plugins. So we need to go back to our link here. If you haven't, type this in your address bar or click on the link in the description of the, uh, I'll leave a link in the description of this video or how you get to the plugin manager. And at this time for the 32-bit version, you need this UniZip file here. So you click on that, save it, which I've already done. Once you've done that, extract the files and go in and you copy both files. Control A to select both. Control C to copy both. And then we're going to go into the program files directory, into the notepad folder, and we're going to copy right over both the files here. Control V. It's going to copy both over merge both these files together. I'm going to do that for both since it's just one here. Select yes, continue to allow permission and it's done. So now I can close and restart and should have a working plugin manager. And again now you can see there are a lot more plugins and if you go through and you click on each one it'll give you a description of what the plugin does and you'll find that you'll find a lot of useful ones here that you won't find on the 64-bit version but for our case for right now we just need to show the snippets so let's go ahead and install the snippets Start. Fine. Go ahead and run the program. Can't find the database. Okay. We want to click on the link here. It'll take us to the download page where we click on that link. And this is the 32 bit snippets zip. Again, you click on that, download it to your folder. I've already done that. It's in my downloads folder. This is the 32 bit snippets zip file right click extract all the files it will extract it to a folder here open that folder and you want to copy both the folder and the file control a will select both control c will copy everything and we want to go back into the programs file folder into the notepad folder into the plugins folder and we want to paste the files here control v continue giving permission and now the files are copied into the plugins directory and now we have a working snippets file so I can close this if I close and restart we should have a working snippets file and there it is okay so there it is everybody well let's 
let's take a quick look at the again did we like we did look at this plugins I believe if we have we're going to take a quick look yes we had to just to go through the snippets but you can see that there are a lot of different plugins here thanks for watching my video everybody and if you haven't done so already please like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel last but not least I ask that you take a moment and make a small donation to my PayPal. It'll go a long way in helping me develop and make more quality videos. If you could take a quick moment and just type in PayPal me slash city said in your browser and hit enter and hit enter, it will take you to this uh, my donation page on PayPal. And as you can see here, it won't cost you anything. Um, just donate whatever you can. The minimum amount is a dollar. Uh, it'll go a long way, believe me. I appreciate you guys. Please comment, and I'll see you in my next video.